front wheel drive. Front wheel drive is a drivetrain layout where engine torque is transmitted exclusively to the front axle through a transaxle integrating the transmission and differential. Typical engine orientations are transverse inline 4 or inline 3 configurations, optimizing cabin space and shortening the drivetrain length. Power delivery to the front wheels uses constant velocity joints to maintain uniform rotational speed during steering angles. Weight distribution concentrates mass over the driven wheels, improving traction on low friction surfaces such as wet asphalt. Mechanical losses are reduced because fewer propeller shafts and differentials are required, improving fuel economy measured in kilometers per liter. Manufacturing cost is lower due to fewer components and simplified assembly. Torque steer can occur when unequal half-shaft links create steering pull under high engine load. Maximum acceleration is limited by front tire grip because steering and propulsion loads combine. High output engines often require electronic traction control to manage wheel spin. Front wheel drive dominates modern sedans. Rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive is a drivetrain layout where engine torque measured in newton meters is transmitted through a longitudinal transmission, drive shaft, and rear differential to the rear axle only. Weight distribution in rear wheel drive vehicles approaches 50% front and 50% rear, improving yaw balance during cornering. The rear differential multiplies torque using a final drive ratio such as 3.73 to 1, enhancing acceleration force in kilonewtons at the tires. Under towing loads measured in kilograms, rear wheel drive places driven mass over the rear axle, increasing available traction force according to friction coefficient values. Steering is isolated from propulsion because front wheels handle lateral grip only, improving steering precision. In low friction conditions, rear tires exceed traction limits sooner, causing oversteer quantified by slip angle. Rear wheel drive platforms support higher power outputs measured in kilowatts because driveline components tolerate torque loads. Packaging requires a transmission tunnel length measured in millimeters, reducing interior volume versus front wheel layouts. Four wheel drive. Four-wheel drive, abbreviated as 4WD or 4x4, is a drivetrain configuration where engine torque is distributed to all four wheels through a mechanical transfer case. The transfer case splits power between front and rear axles using gear sets or chains, enabling selectable high range and low range ratios. Low range gearing multiplies torque, typically by ratios near 2.5 to 1, improving crawling ability at low speeds. Four-wheel drive systems are commonly part-time, meaning the front and rear axles are mechanically locked, suitable for loose surfaces but unsuitable for dry pavement. Typical applications include sport utility vehicles and off-road vehicles designed for mud, sand, snow, and terrain. Advantages include superior traction and torque delivery on low friction surfaces and improved grade climbing capability. Disadvantages include increased vehicle mass, higher drivetrain losses, increased fuel consumption measured in liters per 100 kilometers, and complexity compared with wheel drive layouts. All-wheel drive. All-wheel drive AWD is a drivetrain system designed to automatically deliver engine torque to all four wheels using mechanical, hydraulic, or electronic control systems. In modern all-wheel drive vehicles, a center differential or electronically controlled clutch pack manages torque split between front and rear axles in real time. Typical torque distributions range from front bias 90% front and 10% rear to rear biased performance setups depending on traction demands. All-wheel drive systems rely on wheel speed sensors, yaw sensors, and throttle position data to detect slip measured in revolutions per minute. AWD is commonly used in crossover, sport utility vehicles, and premium sedans to enhance traction on wet, snowy, or uneven road surfaces. The system improves acceleration stability and cornering grip compared to two-wheel drive layouts. However, all-wheel drive increases vehicle mass measured in kilograms, adds drivetrain friction losses, races, fuel consumption in liters per 100 kilometers, and increases manufacturing cost. Part-time four-wheel drive. Part-time four-wheel drive is a drivetrain configuration where the vehicle operates primarily in rear-wheel drive during normal on-road conditions, sending engine torque only to the rear axle. A manually selectable transfer case mechanically locks the front and rear drive shafts together when four-wheel drive is engaged, creating a fixed torque split, typically 50% front and 50% rear. 
Because there is no center differential, front and rear axles must rotate at the same average speed, which is suitable only for low traction surfaces. Engagement modes usually include two high, four high, and four low, with four low providing gear reduction ratios commonly between two and a half to one and four to one for increased tractive force. Part-time four-wheel drive systems are common in pickup trucks and dedicated off-road vehicles due to their mechanical simplicity, durability, and high torque capacity. Using part-time four-wheel drive on dry pavement causes driveline wind-up, increased tire scrub, accelerated component wear, and potential transfer case damage failure. Full-time four-wheel drive Full-time four-wheel drive is a drivetrain that continuously distributes engine torque to front and rear axles through a center differential that allows speed variation during cornering. The center differential may be a planetary gear set, torsion torque sensing unit, or electronically controlled clutch, specified to balance torque typically between 40% front and 60% rear. Power is transmitted via propeller shafts and differentials to all four wheels at all vehicle speeds, measured in revolutions per minute or RPMs. Locking the center differential mechanically or electronically fixes axle speeds for low traction surfaces. Low range gearing, commonly around 2.5 to 1 ratio, multiplies torque in newton meters for off-road use. Systems appear in Toyota Land Cruiser and Jeep QuadraTrack platforms. Advantages include constant traction on asphalt, gravel, snow, and mud with predictable handling. Disadvantages include higher parasitic losses, increased mass in kilograms, additional maintenance, and reduced fuel economy measured in kilometers per liter compared with part-time systems. Automatic All-Wheel Drive Automatic all-wheel drive on-demand systems use a primary front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive layout and electronically engage the secondary axle only when wheel slip is detected. Torque transfer is controlled by an electronically actuated clutch pack in the power transfer unit using wheel speed sensors and throttle position sensors. Engagement time typically ranges from milliseconds to fractions of a second based on software calibration. Power distribution is variable, commonly shifting from 100% front wheel drive to approximately 50% front and 50% rear during traction loss. These systems are commonly fitted to compact sport utility vehicles and crossovers to reduce drivetrain mass, mechanical complexity, and parasitic losses. Fuel efficiency is higher than full-time all-wheel drive because the secondary axle remains disengaged during steady cruising. On-demand all-wheel drive improves traction on wet asphalt, snow, and loose gravel surfaces. The system lacks low-range gearing, mechanical locking differentials, and continuous torque delivery, which limits durability and capability in severe off-road use overall. Electric All-Wheel Drive Electric all-wheel drive and dual-motor electric vehicle drivetrains uses two independent electric motors to power the front axle and rear axle without a mechanical transfer case. Each motor converts electrical energy from a high-voltage battery, typically 350 to 800 volts, into rotational force measured in newton meters. Power output is rated in kilowatts with combined system output managed electronically rather than mechanically. Torque distribution is controlled by inverter software that adjusts motor current within milliseconds, enabling precise traction control and yaw stability. Regenerative braking can operate on both axles, increasing energy recovery efficiency. The drivetrain layout eliminates drive shaft losses and allows axle decoupling at low loads to reduce consumption. Dual motor systems increase mass, cost, and energy draw, reducing range per kilowatt hour compared with single motor layouts. This configuration is widely used by Tesla, Rivian, and performance-focused electric vehicles. Thermal management maintains motor and inverter efficiency. Hybrid all-wheel drive. Hybrid all-wheel drive using electric axle systems, known as e-axle all-wheel drive, is a drivetrain where an internal combustion engine powers one axle through a conventional transmission, while an electric motor independently drives the opposite axle. The electric axle integrates an electric motor, power inverter, and reduction gear into a single housing and typically operates at system voltages between 200 and 650 volts. Torque distribution is controlled electronically rather than mechanically, eliminating a propeller shaft, center differential, or transfer case. 
Electric motor output commonly ranges from 30 to 80 kilowatts, providing immediate torque for traction control and low speed acceleration. Fuel efficiency improves because the engine driven axle can disengage all wheel drive during steady cruising conditions. Regenerative braking occurs on the electronic axle, converting kinetic energy into electrical energy stored in a lithium ion battery. This drivetrain is used in Toyota Hybrid, AWDI, and Lexus E4 systems. Limitations include higher system complexity, additional cooling requirements, and specialized diagnostic maintenance procedures. And that's a wrap on every drivetrain type, from front-wheel drive to hybrid all-wheel drive. So which drivetrain do you think offers the best balance of performance and efficiency? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>